Hello everybody and welcome back to the streak. We are jumping back into the streak again for our 40th win. We got Samson as our randomized character this time. And I have to admit to you, I'm not super well prepared for this, so I'm a little bit worried. Also, first things first, I want to quickly increase my EID size, because some people said it was a little bit too small, uh, which I kind of agree with, so we'll go with... Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with 75. See how, see how we get along with that. I don't know, 75, it seems like the text is a little smushed. Anyways, we'll leave it like that for now. Um, but anyways, I, I would say I'm not like super well prepared for this. Um, because I did, I made an error today. I made a, a rather large error. I ate way too fucking much pasta. And I feel so unbelievably lethargic. Like, because I went to Venice, I hadn't, I haven't got any backlog for Isaac. And so I had, I have to record this episode today. I couldn't leave it. And it's already late. <laughs> I normally upload at 8pm UK time and it's currently quarter to nine. So it's already coming late to you guys. Uh, that was kind of nice. Oh, really? That was not very good at all. 1 to 12 coins and it gives me 3. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm feeling insanely lethargic and overly filled with pasta. It was incredible, mind you. It was very good pasta. But goddamn do I feel so unbelievably full from it. Um... It, basically, I wanted to make like a carbonara because um, I like carbonara for one, but because I bought a bunch of meat in Venice and I was like, I really want to make something with this meat. Um, and now I'm just like, oh my god, I I I, I genuinely like don't feel good, <laughs> but like not in a bad way. <laughs> Do you know like when you eat too much, but it's like it's not particularly a problem, like. The, the only problem is the fact that I have something to be doing. But otherwise, it's kind of like, do you know what? I don't mind being overly stuffed. It's it's fine. Um, but I have to talk and focus for like an hour. And also, I think I might be getting ill. I'm not sure, but I've had like a sore throat today. And I'm starting to get it blocked up in my nose. And yeah. Oh, brownie. Brownie, no, you cannot give me brownie. It's such a risk. But it's like, it's such a big boon early on because it gives you a pretty hefty amount of damage. But it's just so gross. It's just so gross that I don't know if I can. I did bring some water with me though to... To slurp on. <clears throat> I may have to pause every now and again to sneeze. But yeah, so I'm not in a great way. Not in a great way. Also, I also just like don't record very well after eating, but I was like, I can't leave this any longer. So anyways, question of the day, when's the last time you ate way too much? Because I feel like that's something everyone, everyone has done at some point in their life. Okay. Okay. I would kind of like to, yeah, I guess I would like, kind of like to open one of these. Although I have a little bit of a plan first. We'll see if I can make it happen. Hmm. Ah, oh, that didn't really work at all, did it? God damn it. I was trying to get this all the way over here, because this is obviously where Secret Room is, but didn't work out. Do I want to open Secret Room? I think Secret Room's the better thing to open here, because I could get more money. That's not Secret Room. What? Why not? <laughs> where the hell is it if it's not there? That's... That's insanely rude. That is insanely rude. I actually can't believe that wasn't the secret room. What, where the hell is it then? It looks so obvious. Oh, but yeah, I am, I am happy to be back trying out the streak for our 40th win as well. We are officially over my previous old streak of 38, which is pretty nice. So even if we die on this one, I'll still be happy. But obviously we'd rather not. I really would like to make it to 50, but I feel like that's pushing our luck a little bit because... I'm sure we're going to get a fucking Jacob and Ezel run before that or something that's going to throw me off kilter. Or just a, a very bad regular run. I mean, Samson's luckily a character that won't throw us too many curveballs. Um, healer... Oh, random smelted worm trinket. Okay. Thank God. I was like, please do not give us a Roboros. <laughs> that would have been devastating. So is there nothing else I can do on this floor? I, ah, brownie's such a weird one. It's good damage, but 
the the slippery creep stuff is just it, it's untakeable. It's untakeable. It's so unbelievably bad. Right. Let's keep it moving. But ring ringworm I don't particularly dislike. It gives it gives us a tears up as well, which I think is nice. Uh, we got a HP up as well. The mark is is rather nice here. I uh, should destroy these as well. Come on, fear. Oh, come on, fear. Don't, don't be a bitch. Just to see if we get a heart out of any of these. We didn't, but yeah, the mark, very, very good addition here. Very glad we got that. Um, yeah, I think, I think this is a decent start. Like, ringworm, it's a little annoying, but the tears up is nice and it's not awful. We've just got to remember from now on, any worm trinket will be auto smelted. So, no picking up a Roboros worm for a, for a meme. <laughs> That's the only thing that I was worried about is like getting a Roboros. That, that, that was a, a genuine risk, but I was like, the HP up. I want it. I wanted the HP up. Alright, what we're going on in here. Rubber, baby. It's nothing super impressive, but uh, we'll take it. He's actually kind of okay early game. He can do some decent damage, so I don't mind. I feared you all. Not that that was of much use at all, but goddamn yeah. I feel... I, like, I thought maybe I'd just feel a little bit better once I started recording. I don't. I feel so full. Like, so just unbelievably overstuffed. It's incredible. I don't know if I've ever felt... Like, I've eaten way more than this at certain occasions, but pasta is just hefty. And I had it with, like, a... a I made, like, a carbonara sauce, which was, like, egg and cheese. And I, I bought this, like, parmesan truffle stuff, and I put some of that in it um, from Venice as well. It was very good, but goddamn... Why did I buy garlic bread? <laughs> Why did I buy garlic bread? I only ate like half of the garlic bread too, because it was just too much of it. Eyes ah, bigger than my belly, as they say. Oh, goddamn. It's going to be a bit of a struggle episode, but not for the reasons that it normally would be. Right. Before I, uh, before I go to the arcade, let's, let's check out the shop. We've got one bomb here as well. Do we have any inkling as to where Secret Room might be? Let's check out this. Piggy Bank, it's not incredible. It's not incredible, but it, it does give us some money back, and it's not bad. It's likely to be here, right? There we go. Very nice. Took a gamble on that, and I'm very glad that I did. Do I take a gamble on this, though? Nah. I will bomb this open in the hope of getting a bomb back plus something else. A soul heart is very good though. I'll quickly check the arcade in case there's anything worth bombing. I I need to get back into the mindset of min-maxing. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice that I'm a little bit ill actually. You might be able to. Do we gamble with this guy? We've only got two players. I'm going to say yes. Yeah, there you go. Because I'm going to say I feel like those guys, when I'm not playing as Mammon, they just pay out straight away. So I feel, like, I feel like it's worth the risk. And you can get stats from them as well. So I think overall, but Bombs is definitely a good grab there. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm going to buy the sack here as well. Beautiful stuff. Extra key was pretty much exactly what I was looking for. We've got a bomb to go with it as well. we got Mr. Fireman here. Mr. Fireman. Yeah, what we, what we want to see is Brainworm. That's the trinket we want to see. Well, you are, you are firing a lot of hot bombs, my guy. A lot of hot bombs. You are dead. We had GMO corn. I, I will take it. I will take it. We got a tears down in there, but everything else was pretty decent. And considering we got a tears up from our trinket uh, that, that is now smelted, I'm not particularly displeased with that. It's fa It's annoying, but it's fine. I think we can get through it. I think we can push on. Um... Oh, one sec. Oh my god. I just feel a bit rough, to be honest. I apologize. I apologize I make any gross noises in the... In the heat of battle. I will try to prevail. This is... This is the problem about going away. It's great, because I backlog a bunch of episodes, and then I don't have to record for like, a week and a half, and it's like... A nice little break. I, I enjoy the recording, but it's also always nice to have a br break. But then I come back... And I have absolutely no backlog, and I have to then find time to, like, make a backlog. Like, actively make a backlog. 
And for a little while, I don't have one. And it causes issues like this, where I'm overly stuffed, and I'm kind of ill, and I shouldn't really be recording, but... Hey her, here we are. You guys deserve your Isaac. Ooh, hello. Um... An extra pickup surrounded by spike spawns in shops. That's kind of intriguing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that and try it out. Do you know, my Stemus cake, isn't that meant to be a trinket that only spawns if you have the cupcake mod? Is that some sort of error? I don't know. Basically, there's a mod called like, the cupcake that adds a trinket that does a different effect for every single character in the game. But some mods have their own version of it, and clearly Master Emma does too. But for some reason, it's findable without having to have that mod, which is slightly weird. I'll bomb that open as well. Where do my bombs go? Didn't I have like seven? Oh, did I get- oh, I got bombs are key, okay. Hey, Mum's bracelet. Honestly, not what I was expecting, but not bad. This can be kind of good. It can be kind of good. Really should have recorded before I ate. Oh, God. The regret is heavy. Rip that guy's head clean off. Wasn't expecting it to deal damage to me, I'll be honest. But I did it. Also, Ringworm, I kind of forgot, it gives us Spectral too, which is real nice. Heal Spare is lovely. Heal Spare is a heckin' lot of extra damage. Oh, hello. I've lost that Burn Heart immediately. I kind of forgot it gave me a Burn Heart, to be honest. I'd have played a bit better if I'd have, if I'd have remembered that. I don't know why I thought that was Secret Room. It just felt like it to me. Ty was incorrect. But yeah, we're in a good spot damage-wise now. At least this run's not gonna not gonna put me in a situation where I'm feeling hefty and overweight and also on a bad run. <laughs> At least it's only one of the two. You come over here before. Okay, you can't come over here, I see. Good, good and we'll take the look, I think, here. Lovely stuff. Very happy with with uh, with everything we've been getting from the secret rooms and things like that. It's been pretty good stuff. It's been pretty good stuff. We have a lot of money on our hands as well right now, which I was not expecting. Right, let's go find the shop. But yeah, my uh, my my breath is probably very cheesy and slightly truffly. Ah, you bastards! You big fuck! Give me a head. I love being able to do that. Oh my lord, the money. The money, people. What is happening? Okay, yeah, Spectral there doing a fantastic job for us. We just keep getting more and more bombs back. Uh, I guess I'll just take both and see what we get. Stopwatch, incredible. Wicker Man, I don't know what that is. Wicker Man is... Every floor will spawn a sacrifice room. Oh, okay, that's just a rebrand of an existing item. I see. Ah, uh, sadly, did not get what we wanted. You, you just straight up killed yourself, but I'll be honest, killing yourself and giving me a nice little black heart to replace the one I lost is uh, fine and dandy by me, but look at, look at my damage. Look how high it goes at full speed. It's kind of crazy. Ooh, I think we'll be getting rid of Mum's bracelet here. I would very much like Flight with Spectral. Flight and Spectral go together, hand in hand. Thank you. And then in here, we'll be getting... Ugh, Guardian Angel. It's nothing special, but it's nice. It's it's just... it just is. It just exists. Right, little sippy there. Little sippy indeed. Uh, secret room? Already? Yeah. I had the feeling. Hey! Little arrow dude. This game, man. It's just the most money you've ever seen. It just keeps coming and coming. Also, I always forget. We get good old free entry to this bad boy. 
Shoot waves of electricity short circuiting uh, all machines in a radius, causing them to pay out multiple times and explode. Hell yes. That sounds very, very potentially useful. Don't know when it will be, but I will hold on. I'm not exactly sure what machine would best benefit there, to be honest. Probably just a blood donation machine. Dude! <laughs> like, the 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 actual... like It's not just the, the amount of money we're getting. The quality of the coins that we're getting is absurd. We're getting so many nickels and dimes. Like, so unbelievably many. It's absolutely cray-cray. This is the run back I like to see, though. The game knows me well. The game knows me well. Another nickel. It just keeps coming and coming. And here we got 120 volt. Not, not, not bad, not bad. It's not my favourite, but... Not bad, not bad. Do you know what? I say that seemed like a right room to do that in. And then shop, of course, we're up to 42 again, so why not? Uh, I think I'll just buy that for now. I don't think the items there aren't exactly the best for us. I think I'm just going to go straight for the boss here, to be honest. We're uh, kind of raring to go here. Soul Heart, thank you. Get a little bit of that going on you, and I think... We'll be taking you out pretty swiftly, good sir. Pretty swiftly. I don't actually want bacon grease, to be honest. Purity is rather nice, though. I'll take that. Yeah, bacon grease. I, I don't really need an extra heart container. I don't need the shot speed. I'm kind of just okay for, to be honest. But yeah, we're, we're in a position now where we've got enough damage to kind of steamroll a little bit. And that's kind of what we're doing. I apologize, I just burped there little bit gross. It was the pasta. It wasn't me. I promise. The pasta did it to me. And you can't prove anything else. You can't prove otherwise. Right, let's keep this going. Let's keep this going. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. My, I don't know what, I've, what I'm coming down with. My, my friend was over on Friday and I spoke to him today and he was like, Oh, I'm feeling headachy, and I've got a bit of the cold. And I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> You're just at my house. And now you tell me. So I'm not, I'm, to be fair, I'm actually not sure if I made him ill or if he made me ill. But he's feeling more symptoms than I am. So either I'm made of sterner stuff or he had it before me and is developing his symptoms and I am now developing said symptoms. Ooh, okay. So, wait, no. It doesn't make beggars pay out, does it? It, it, it does say machines. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, a hot bet and say that those small children don't count as machines. <laughs> that would be, that would be my instinct. Right. We are. Ah, oh, that was kind of terrible. I do like the way that my purity aura follows the trail um, with the with the, the pony. It kind of looks cool. It had like a slightly orange trail as I went because the aura I've got around me. Check this out. Well, luckily we have flight here so we can get bookworm. Fortunately, nothing particularly amazing. Good, good. And that's that's pretty decent. The spider egg's not bad. Spider egg's not bad. Fire a spider egg every now and again. That'll spew out some uh, some little friends to kill things for me. There you go. Look, there's one of them now. It's once every five seconds, I think. So it's kind of it's not amazing, but it's 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 a decent little bonus. It's a decent little bonus. Okay. I was gonna actually just dive through this room because, actually, to be fair, there's literally no reason not to. It's a, it's a two room charge room. We don't lose anything by doing that. Okay. And now we get to do it again. Oh, I fucking. I completely missed that. That was terrible. I mean, it still killed something, but. It was not optimal at all. Um. 
I guess I'll take booster pack and see what we get. We got um, Wheel of Fortune, which is intriguing. Unknown. Um, okay, let's 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 carry that for now, and we'll come back over here. In fact, let me let me let me let me let me let me plop this down. Not not a good machine, really. Not 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 the machine I was looking for. Is that a water bottle? Dude, these water bottles need fixing, man. <laughs> They're so cheesy. I really shouldn't pick them up if they spawn like that, to be honest. It's a bit cheaty. We are in depths one, so we can just go for this. Oh, Lord. That's a lot of kids. That's a lot of friends. Yeah, yet again. Not too hard of a time here. And this is a perfect opportunity for this. Yes, I will take a little horn. We've got okay luck as well, so... Makes it a bit more worthwhile. I am a moron. Why didn't I use it in the library? I mean, we got a good item out of it, so I can't be too disappointed. But we could have had five choices of items that we could have purchased all of. And I decided to go for the choice of one. That was a little silly. The pasta... The pasta is in my brain, people. Ooh. Okay. Didn't play out the way I was hoping it would, but interesting nonetheless. I was hoping it'd actually play the machine a few times, and it just kind of broke it. But we got golden bombs out of it, so that's something. What's this? Nightmare tick. Every eight room clears, one passive item is removed from your inventory. Uh, damage for every item removed this way. Th it, that is just... It's an interesting idea if you get it early, but there is like three or four different items it could remove in which it, I'd lose damage and gain less back. It's just not worth it. I have too many good items to make that a valid strategy. That is a, a really bad hit there. But thank you for this though. <laughs> that helps. Hey, and we finally got fire rate aura. Finally got fire rate aura. That's some good stuff. Hello, beautiful pennies. How art thou? Beautiful pennies coming to me. Right. Oh, my God. Ooh, I like plastic bag. We're getting a lot of red chests. I wonder what that's about. We're getting a lot of chests in general, to be honest. A lot of chests in general. Sun card it up. Wow. Glad that that killed everything I wanted it to kill. Right, grab that. Wait, have we already been to the secret room? What was in the secret room? I don't think we went to the secret room. Why is it lit up on the map? Another red chest. Wild. Steam sail, I will red rune because at this point, steam sail doesn't really do anything for us, does it? I'm going to quickly go back and check to see if we did open the secret room, because I don't think we did. You lying bastard, Minimap. You lying bastard. There are golden bombs we can skip on through here. More nickels. It's crazy, people. It's crazy. Fly on through here. See what's what. That was a really bad hit. Luckily, I regained something from it. We are. Okay, I don't exactly know where I'm going to plop down this crack key to make some actual moves with it, but we'll have a little look around. I'll just do it here. Why not? I mean, I got, I got a golden chest. That's something, I guess. And a key. Huzzah. Not that I really need it, but... <laughs> I think we're in a position now where we can kind of just run through the rest of this run and be alright. But I'm hoping for another sweet, sweet angel deal to change my tune even further into happiness. But we'll see. We'll see what the game wants to give us today. I'll still destroy that as well. Do you know what? I'll destroy all of these. Just in case. Okay. Hello, hello. 
again, should be a pretty quick kill. Unfortunately, we lost our fire rate bonus because I got hit by this, that spike block. Because I'm stupid. Might be before that, I don't remember. Either way, we don't have it now, and we want it back. We're a devil deal. Wasn't what I was expecting, but I'll check it out because I've got all the HP. That's that's quite the devil deal right there. That's quite the devil deal. Um, I mean, Brimstone at least is uh, is pretty good. I haven't had Brimstone Mum's Knife in a really long time, and so I'm going to take it. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. A Brimstone Mum knife, Mum's Knife, I actually think is worse than either Brimstone or Mum's Knife. I think either one of them on their own are, are really good. But Brimstone Mum's Knife is not a synergy I, I've, I've had in a long time, so I'm going to take it. It's, like, still very good, <laughs> regardless. So. Yeah, I'm going to take it and have fun with it, even though it does diminish my health quite heavily. But... My main sort of reasoning for being okay with that is, for one, this run's just very strong. And for two, we have one of those special hearts that means that um, we can regen it. So as long as we're careful, we've actually got a lot more HP than it looks like, potentially. And I think that we can we can do a half-decent job of being careful, can't we? Do you want to calm down, sir? And we just got a burn heart as well. A burn heart to boot. See, look. The heart straight back. Straight back again. Yeah, I like this. This, this is fun. It's a, a good return to form for the streak, I think. A good return to form indeed. I just like the fact that we've got the close range knife, which I'll be honest is a little wacky because of the way it's moving. But then we've also got the, the spread fire knives as well. Beautiful stuff. Pesci, that's some good HP right there. With the burn heart and the extra HP, I, I I regret nothing already. I'm 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 very happy. I don't know why, but I'm instinctively going towards the sack room, even though I don't think that has any indication towards where the boss is. And I'm not even gonna use it, but I'm just like, ooh. Sack room. Sack room, you say. Is that not it? Oh my god, there's so many enemies in this room. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to go keep going towards the sack room and just hope that that's the right way. So far, things are looking good. So far, things are looking good. Hey, big boy. And I think this will do a pretty good job of uh, killing bosses, too. It will mince them up big style. Do like the, uh, the extra butt bombs we're getting. We actually have the butt bombs item. But we also... Ooh, probably better trinket right there. Oh, God, I got an itchy back. Probably a better trinket right there. Um, Considering we don't use our active a whole ton. Um, What was I going to say? I don't remember. I have seemingly forgotten. Oh, God. Oh, that got rid of my heart. I always forget you get no iframes with those hearts. That was... That was a lot to lose very quickly there. At least that burn heart's going to still live on. There's a soul heart back in that room as well that I clearly wasn't paying attention to. Don't know where that came from. Thank you. That thing makes me feel a hell of a lot better, actually. Like, a hell of a lot better. Okay. Things are easy breezy. Things are easy breezy. Let's, let's not talk about this run as if there's any problem whatsoever. I think our 40th win is fully in the bag. I think the bag is full. It's full of my win. Good old Poe throw. Unfortunately, lots of wrong ways thus far. <clears throat> the sack room also lied to us this time. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. I'm stupid. The sack room never lies. The sack room never lies. How could I? How could I be so foolish as to? Not trust in the beautiful sack room. Get pooped on. See, imagine if we'd have taken Brownie, and then we had this item that's creating poop slick that the enemies slip on. Oh lord, it'd have been it'd have been a clusterfuck and a half. 
No, where's safe and where isn't? Keep moving along. I love, I love the way the knife moves with this this worm, but it is it does make hitting things a bit harder. But it does look cool. Lose a soul heart, gain a soul heart. That seems to be the way we work in this world. Good items there, especially Midas Touch. I'm pretty sure Midas Touch pairs well with our active. I think that it does. That it does. Not that we need the money, of course, but. It doesn't just mean we do extra contact damage, so in that way, regardless of the money we need or don't need, it's not bad at all. Right. Boss time. Yeah, and also I believe Midas Touch, yeah. So stunning effect is one thing, but I believe it does more damage based on the amount of money you have. And we have a lot of money, so... Nice. Before I even got to his... Uh... Light beam phase, I think that's always a good sign. And yeah, Blue Baby hopefully will chop him down in his prime. Wait, did we just get up to two times damage depending on speed? Which is an item we already have. <laughs> so we now have two times things. Two items that do the exact same thing. Give us up to double damage based on our speed. Although one's definitely better than the other in the way that it functions, but both, both are good. Right, Sakurum, I'm hoping you lied to me this time because I've, I've for some reason decided to betray all that I've ever known and go this way. And this is what you get for betraying all you ever know. You get failure. Absolute unequivocal. Unequivocated failure. But, let's see. Is it a failure? It may... It, it, there might be a redeeming factor here. Maybe the sack room has something in store for us. But, hopefully, I was right to stray away from its sage guidance. Right. What the hell's left? Mushroom boy. Little, little boy toadstool. Oh, god damn. Yet again, more very good currency drops. Oh, bloody hell. I'm actually kind of happy we got Fire Mind here, because it just sets things on fire but doesn't explode. It's like the best of the plausible situations you can have with Fire Mind. Hello, little baby C section. How are you? I no longer know what the hell's happening. It seems good, though. Seems good. Seems rather dandy. So what, what it looks like is happening is we have a brimstone beam followed by C-section babies in the shape of tacks that have knives. I don't think anyone can complain about that. Beautiful way to end this off. I hope you guys did enjoy the 40th win in the series, and I'll see you guys in the next one.